Praise be to Jesus. Good morning friends. Today, 27th of December, we celebrate the feast of St. John the Evangelist. St. John is an apostle. He is an evangelist, has written the gospel. He is also known as the loud disciple. He is the youngest among the apostles of Jesus. He was not married and his brother is Apostle St. James and he is together with his brother is known as Sons of Thunder. Their parents are Zebedee and Salome. Fishermen by profession, they were from Bethsaida and Capernaum. St. John had a natural death. He lived long years. In the name of St. John the Evangelist, we have the Gospel of St. John, three letters written by St. John, and the Revelation, the Book of Revelation, the vision that he had in the Patmos Island. When we look into the life of St. John, we can see that after the death and resurrection of Jesus, his brother was martyred, but he was imprisoned only, and he was deported to the island of Patmos, where he lived until his death. He had his disciples, and he always spoke about love. He had mentions about himself as the beloved disciple, the one who was leaning on the chest of Jesus during the Last Supper, when Jesus revealed that one of them was going to betray him. St. John speaks out of his experience. In the letters he says that what we have experienced, what we have touched, what we have seen, we have returned. And what we are written is true. He is speaking from his experience always. Regarding the suffering of Jesus, he said that a, pierced, a spear pierced the side of Jesus and blood and water came out of it. And the one who has seen it has given testimony for that. So he is always depending upon the testimony out of his own experience. And the mystery of the Word of God is presented by St. John. The mystery which cannot be explained in words, he has explained words in words. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, the Word was God. The Word became flesh and dwelt among us. He came to his own people, his own people did not accept him. But to those who accepted him, those who received him, his name, he has given the authority to become the children of God. And those children are not born out of flesh or desire of human beings, but out of the power of God's will. In that way he has experienced and explained the great mystery of salvation, the mystery of incarnation. As we celebrate the feast of St. John, we emphasize this on personal experience of Christ, Give us the grace that we may experience Jesus deeper in a deeper way and proclaim his good news. Amen.